Hello friends, this is Mercenary Flower, and I've got an hour until I have to pick my boyfriend Matt up from the train station. It's going to be very exciting, but I'm going to be doing my stream real quick, which is Dear Man. I am on the ninth day of my 12 days of Christmas challenge. And this is just one of those games that kind of has a wintry feel to it. I am a morning person. Even though I was visiting my parents, I already had planned to go out for a run in the nearby woods. I like to run. It snowed last night and we didn't get snow in Australia. I was totally up for it. X. Okay. This is a uh, X. It was a cold Sunday. Minus five degrees. I was out for a quick run. How do I run? Okay. But yeah, this is like a exploration game. Pretty cool. Oh, they run away. right in my ear. Good God. Oh, okay. Which way you want to take? Obviously the arrow. It's a graveyard. Yikes. one of those things but Jesus <laughs> where like the path you choose changes the story oh that's weird I found nothing useful in the cabin okay I remember I took the axe to Where's the path? <laughs> Stupid crow. Or is that a raven? Yeah, that's like a croaking. It's a raven. It's a There was a graveyard covered by snow. It reminded me of my uncle. He passed away in a car accident not too long ago. But there was something unusual. I saw an animal's leg sticking out of one of the tombstones. I didn't realize this was a horror game. Good God. The woods were beautiful. Everything seemed connected. How are you going to find your way back, dude? Oh, 
this is eerie. I probably should have looked at all the reviews more or something. track probably okay no I'm back here again do I need to examine A Slenderman game. Please tell me it's not a Slenderman game. It's probably a Slenderman game. I really need to read descriptions. I just thought it looked like a good winter game. Oh god, here come the whispers. Get out of my brain. There. house over there after I run over here. Is this where I started? Oh. I know there's an answer. Over here somewhere. God, this is such a creepy game. There's an antler. Clothes laid in the box? I knew there was something strange happening in these woods. Maybe someone was living here. Well, that would explain the house, no it didn't. Let's get this last answer. I saw a cottage. It seemed abandoned. <laughs> But the door was open. Oh, God, spooky. Am I going to find the deer? Inside, man? it was mostly empty. I saw tilted picture frames hanging on the walls and a dusty cupboard by the door. It was a private place, and it looked like someone had recently visited. In drawers, are you sure? A letter. I don't know what is going on with you. You leave early in the mornings and come home late at night. The only time I get to see you is when you are asleep. It's getting hard for me, and I'm afraid it's not going to work out between us. I'm sure you know that. And I'm hoping you'll do something to make it all good. Emily. Poor Emily. Ugh. 
This is weird. Spooked. Is that it? I don't really know what else to explore. I got all of the uh, thingamajigs. To understand. Am I gonna meet dear man? Uh. Oh, where'd my axe go? Is that what I took to... Okay. So I guess I opened that thing with an axe or something. Oh, this is so Huh? What is that? Oh, oh shit. shit! Run! Oh, Don't I... look back! Don't look back! I should find a place to hide. Shit, run! Don't look back! Don't look back! I should find a place to hide. I'm concerned. Wait a minute. I didn't realize this was gonna be a horror m freaking game. I'm concerned. I guess the only place to hide is the house. I guess. Freaking dear man. I think that thing is gone. I should unlock the door and run back home.
spoke with a migraine, my vision blurry. I was trying to make sense of what had happened. On my right, the fire burned and a kettle hissed. That was a loud hissing. I saw the thing standing in front of me. Well, that thing turned out to be a man holding a deer mask. He apologized to me and explained he mistook me for a hunter. I assured him that I was not there to hunt, but I questioned why I would have attacked a hunter. He said he had a reason. As he poured me a glass of warm water and handed it to me, he asked me if I wanted to know. Yes, I replied. Okay, this is a little less creepy. He grew up in a poor family, in a small house near these woods. He had a family, a wife and his four-year-old. He hunted wildlife to bring food back home. So, did he just drop us here? I didn't even get to see him up close. One cold winter's day, he was hunting deep in the woods. They had only enough food left for one more meal. Creepy. Oh, hey, look. Is that another bridge? What happened here? I've been hunting for the past few years. The woods have never been this quiet. It's weird. Do I need to go across the bridge? I love my antler vision. So much better than normal vision. Oh. Okay, I guess I have to find the other one. another one. Wait, yeah, there is another one. Okay. Jesus. It was almost dark, and he was far from home. He had to be quick. Jeez. Oh, hey, antler. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, there's one more here. After hours of searching, he was exhausted and had nearly lost hope. I hope to get something. For today, I don't want my family to sleep hungry. It's really dark. I have to be quick. Okay. 
Okay. Then he found something. He kept a far distance and drew his gun. He couldn't miss this shot. He lined up the sights and pulled the trigger. The deer fell to the ground. He ran towards it to pick it up. And right then, a baby fawn came out to lie next to its dying mother. He told me it was the worst feeling of his life. He had destroyed another's family to provide for his own. As tears rolled down his cheeks, he closed his eyes tight and remembered how many lives he'd taken. He opened his eyes and there they were, every life he took, all around him. It was hard for him to comprehend. He couldn't believe his eyes and that he was guilty of what he had done. He threw his gun and ran away. That was the last time he hunted. Don't look at me. He finished telling a story. As he stood, he reached out to help me out. He thanked me for listening to him. I wanted to know more after hearing his story, but it was time to go. We shook hands. He held on to my grip and confided in me. I hope you don't think I'm stupid for doing this, he said. Of course not, I replied. Deep down inside, I was so inspired by him. His courage to protect the deer and his bravery risking his life. It really touched me. And right then, we heard a gunshot. Follow me, a hunter is near, he said. Donning his mask, he ran to the sound. My heart pounded. I was afraid, but something made me follow him. I, I don't really know which way to go. It's just a dead end. Oh, that's lovely. Where is he, though? I came across a frozen lake. I wasn't sure if the deer man went the same way, but I saw no other path. Afraid, but something made me follow. I think I broke it. I came across a frozen lake. I wasn't sure if the deer man went the same way. But I saw no other path. <laughs> well, don't go that way. Oh. I wasn't sure what happened. I couldn't see much further. And 
Then I saw him lying on the ground. He had been shot. I shouted, Somebody help! I shouted again, begging for help. But no one answered. I didn't get all of the antlers. I'm a failure. The police found a piece of paper in the dear man's pocket. It said, I take full responsibility of whatever happens to me. I hold no one responsible. I demand the hunter is sent free so that on his next hunt he thinks twice to take an innocent life from the wild. Police did catch the hunter and dropped the charges. I could see the hunter was sorry, but, well, the dear man was gone. We buried the dear man in the same woods. That night I couldn't sleep, and the next day I returned to the woods to see his grave. I was there to thank him for inspiring me, showing me how to love the unspoken wild. A baby fawn stayed by his grave, unfazed by my presence. Why can't I run? Oh, this is much more difficult. I knew why the deer weren't afraid of me anymore. I walked among them now, and they wouldn't run. I felt welcome in these woods. That's why I can't run. That's when I decided to take the deer man's mission forward. There has to be a reason to live. Bruh. And hey. I had just found mine. This character creator. It's too much. What are you playing? Revelation Online. Oh. I got a closed beta key from Cry. Nice. You I can the change the, the way the light glares on your eyeball. I remember <laughs> how he ran towards me. Like, that's how in-depth this same. character creation is. It's just too much. I can't. I started to <laughs> you run can change the color of the whites of your eyes. faster. I didn't want to stop. Mm -hmm. The deer ran along with me. And you can change each right eye individually. Left. Mm -hmm. For the first time in my life, I felt a true love for the wildlife. I'm oh, becoming yeah. the, deer the deer man. man. <laughs> nice. What about a deer man? Oh, I became the deer man. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's the end of the game. That didn't take very long at all. But that was a very neat game.
Well, that was interesting. I became the deer man. I was so inspired by his story. That I became... I picked up where he left off. So that was nice. I wonder if all of the graves in the graveyard were past deer man or something. Uh, it's just a never-ending chain of deer men. Well, that was cool. Very short stream, but that's alright. <laughs> Anyways, thank anybody who joined me on this ninth day of the 12 Days of Christmas Challenge. I will see you guys in the next stream. Uh, Matt will actually be joining me then, so... That's going to be fun. Mm.